so after the last pour, it was so pretty, I want to do something kind of similar to it. And what I'm going to do is take my water and wet the canvas. Yeah, I've got some extra metallic here. That I used on my Cosmic Galaxy pours. So this this will be pretty. I'm going to start with just a dribble of white. And this is all deco art and my squeeze bottles. I've got white. This is Splendid gold, or that's emperor's gold here. This is emperor's gold. And I'm going to use the ultra blue deep, the peacock pearl. I think I'm going to use the, the blue grass green. I think that's going to be it. Well, and I've got the rich espresso which is a darker bronzy color so I added some Emperor's Gold to it to make it a little lighter in value. So these are all the colors I'm going to use. So I'm going to start what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a just a little tiny drop of OGX hair serum in between here and there Do this deep blue, this peacock pearl, which I don't have a lot mixed up, so I've got to use it sparingly. This metallic. This is splendid gold. Like to the bluegrass green, a little white. Ultra Blue Deep. The Peacock Pearl, which is really pretty. It's just pearlized. Go back to the deeper Rich Espresso mixed in with Emperor's Gold. The Splendid Gold on top. So I'd wet the canvas. I'm going to take this uh, this is Emperor's Gold, I believe. This is just a shade lighter. I'm dropping some water on there just in case. And I forgot to add any more of the coconut milk, but I will. Tell you what, I'll put one little drop on my finger. I'm going to rub it around on the canvas. You don't have to be scared to do stuff, you just do it. What I want is I want enough paint on the edges to where it'll flow right into it and then I can take it over the edge. That is gorgeous. I don't think you can see in that cup, but it is so pretty. So that bluegrass green with the ultra blue deep and that pearl color, the peacock pearl, 
with these golds is really beautiful. Blows the paint around like a hair dryer, which I don't like. <clears throat> oh, I'll just go fast. I'm kind of loving it just the way that is right there. But I'm going to try to get it to stretch a little bit. See, the thing about metallic paints is they don't totally cover 100%, so I don't want to waste the metallics going over the edges. I'm going to have to pretty much paint the edges anyway, something. So let's see if I can get any more out of this cup. I'm gonna keep it keep it going back this way. I've got some color mixed in with my gold. That's okay. Let's see what happens if I swipe it. You swipe, then you wipe. That sounds like a bathroom joke, doesn't it? So I'm barely catching the edge of that color. Try to get some of that vivid blue. Pretty lacing. This smells so good with that coconut milk. <laughs> it has such a wonderful smell.
So what I noticed is the white did not really pop out, which in May as it dries, but that's interesting that the white did not pop out. I'm kind of glad. I need just a little bit of dark blue. Oop. So I drip I drip a dark blue right in there. I want just some of that dark blue. And the gold is even kind of doing its own thing within itself, maybe with the coconut milk, I'm not sure. Like here I'm just adding in a little bit more of the deeper gold, just to give it a little depth. It's like almost not noticeable. So I don't really have paint on all the sides. And like I said, with metallics, they're kind of transparent, so that's why I'm trying to keep all of the metallic on the surface there. And basically I'm just taking the, the drippings that are on the table and putting them back on the side of the canvas so that it's not totally white. And anytime I want to some people use like a palette knife. I just use my thumb and I roll, I roll the color around that edge. If it needs to go over just a bit. This is really beautiful. I love it. And I did, I did these colors based off of the last video, which was the white background, and it kind of looks like coral, and where I was swiping different colors, and um, I had leftover paint that I poured onto a piece of glass, and it was the Ultra Blue Deep and that Peacock Pearl and the Golds. And I thought it was beautiful. I thought this is going to make some pretty jewelry. So I'm saving this for jewelry. That's on a piece of glass. But that's how this painting evolved. So here it is up close. I love it. I've even got some drips over here that I may just let sit and dry because it's got some pretty colors in it. That has more of the, the green that came off of the bluegrass green. 
But like I said, the white did not come through on this, so I forgot about that blue drip. So that blue drip just turned into some lacing because you just blow it out. All right, so there it is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I hope you loved it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.